In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Beloved congregation and beloved youth, miss you so much. And I'm sure that you are spending a good time enjoying your Bible, enjoying your prayers, praying that God may pass this tough times on us in a beneficial way. And amazingly, our church is always preparing for us this good and healthy meal that talking to us directly, delivering for us the Lord's message for to comforting us. And today is not only comforting message, but the message of confirmation. Uh, I want to read from you from one of the prophecies of today's uh, from Isaiah chapter 40 and I'm reading from the Orthodox study Bible comfort yes comfort my people say, says God O priests speak to the heart of Jerusalem comfort her for her humiliation is ended her sins is pardoned for she received from the Lord's hand double of her sins. So it's not only a message of comforting, but it is a message, message of confirmation. He is repeating, comfort, yes, comfort my people. And as you all might know that the book of Isaiah is divided into two parts. And the last part, starting from chapter 40, is kind of uh, 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 the words of God carries the spirit of the, old, the New Testament. It's as the, the, the first part was a message of that the people left the Lord, being astray, went left and right, scattered, sinned although they were practicing some worshiping practices fasting and prayer which wasn't pleasing the word the lord by any chance but it was a burden on him because he wasn't accepting to offer those kind of worshiping deeds although we are in sin. But thank God that in these days, the Lord himself is talking to us. We are falling between two Sundays of the Great Lent, the Samaritan woman and the paralyzed, who both got approached by the Lord himself. He went to the Samaritan woman, waited for her at the well, and he went to the paralyzed and healed him. And now we are in need for this approach. And thank God that he is approaching us with this comforting, confirming message. And he is asking us, the priests, as it is written in this translation, the Orthodox study Bible, O priests, speak to the heart of Jerusalem. And let us put instead of Jerusalem the heart of the church, the heart of every one of us, me and you, to comfort us because our humiliation is ended. Our sins are pardoned. And thank God we not only receive the redemption and the salvation from our sins, that the Lord paid our debts on the Christ and carries all our sins on his shoulders through the cross in his precious blood, but also he granted us to enjoy the glory of the kingdom of the heaven. But the message of today, not only comforting and confirming, but also commanding. In verse 3 of Isaiah 40, the voice of 
one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight the passes of our God. If you recall this, you heard it in Matthew chapter 3, describing St. John the Baptist, this crying voice in the wilderness. And St. John the Baptist, as he received the Pharisees and the, the, Sadu, the, the Sadducees coming to be baptized, he asked them not only to repent, but to have a fruitful repentance. As it's mentioned in the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 8, therefore bear fruits worthy of repentance. And thank God that he gave us this time. We are staying home. We are emptied of all our concerns to offer repentance, to offer love to one another, to offer prayers to the Lord, to get to know him more and more and to abide in him more and more. So it's a message of comforting, a command for us to repent and to bear fruits. And I'm adding a plead. I'm pleading to everyone of the church, so to all the congregation, please stay home. Stay home to save life. It's not a joke, as you all see, it's a pandemic all over the world. We need to help the authorities to minimize this time with the least, with the least of any, anything bad that might happen. We are praying for all those who are serving us, for all the doctors, the nurses, the pharmacists, the first responders, everybody that is offering his life on the line to serve me and you. We pray for them that God give them the strength to stay up to serve everybody. And we are praying for those who got affected by this virus that God may give them the strength and grant them healing. Benefit from this time and be comforted because the Lord himself is comforting us. Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says God. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.